Hey everyone, I just finished building probably the craziest workflow I have ever built in my life. In this video, we're going to go over how I automated six cold email campaigns all at once based on the industry, a niche, or we had a fallback and we just used artificial intelligence, or we found technology on their website. This one's going to be crazy. The way I'm going to structure this video is I'm going to give an overview of exactly what we did, and then I'm going to dive into the table to show exactly how we built it and everything. So the too long didn't read on this is I have built the table to automate six campaigns. And so you see here, all of this data is just Apollo data. Where we, and I'm just going to skip over the emails as fast as I can because YouTube doesn't like that. And so we just have all of this data that we got from Apollo. The data ends here of what we got from Apollo. And so what we're doing here is we are verifying that the emails are correct. And then we're just finding more emails, which then we have this email column. We're cleaning up the company name. Uh, and then we're writing a AI column over here where we want to determine is the company B2B because we only want to sell to B2B companies. If they are, uh, if the industry is management consulting, they get dropped in this campaign. If the industry is staffing and recruiting, they get dropped in this campaign. If the industry is financial services, they get dropped in this campaign. If the company has between one to 10 employees, they get dropped into this campaign. If none of these things are true, we check their website to see if they uh, have any of the technologies that we are looking to replace or integrate with. If they do, they get dropped into the tech campaign. Uh, then if we have nothing else to say to these people and we have a valid email address, we just use ChatGPT to say a custom first line, like I was on your site and it looks like you sell to event planners who are looking for a top meeting destination. And then the rest of the campaign goes in a different way. And then we drop them into that campaign. And so we're doing one campaign, two campaigns, three campaigns, four campaigns, five campaigns, six campaigns, all from one table. And all we have to do is take Apollo data that fits our general persona, right? The persona that we're looking for is leaders of the company, marketers of the company, well, marketing leaders of the company. They're in the United States. They have under 100 employees. Uh, they are in certain industries that we like. Other than that, we're pulling anything we can out of Apollo. Once we pull it out, it's getting put into this table and automatically being sorted into all of these campaigns. And we'll just scroll down to show that like people are actually going into the staffing and recruiting campaign and the management consultant campaign and, and all of these things because it, it looks a little empty. But that's just because it's spread out throughout the table depending on what's true. And then no matter what, as long as we have a valid email, if none of these other things worked, we just drop them into the artificial intelligence campaign. So like I said, that's kind of the too long didn't read. And now we're going to spend some time going through the logic of the actual campaign. So the first thing that we needed to do is we need to verify the emails. Because if I can't even get a verified email, there's no reason to even continue. So we use debounce to verify the emails. It goes into this column if we find a verified email. If we don't find a verified email, we guess the email using uh, Clay's find work email function right here. Then that find work email goes here and then we get this master email column where then we're running on this table here and we're saying okay the only way that the rest of this table can continue is if master email column is actually full next step we need to see is this company an actual business to business company how can we tell we need the company's description sometimes we get the company description from apollo for free Sometimes we need to use Clay's Enrich Company uh, data to be able to get the description from the LinkedIn company page. No matter what happens, we either get it from Apollo for free or we get it from the LinkedIn company. Whichever one is true, whether we got it from Apollo or we're using Clay to get it, we drop it in here as well. I put in latest funding because I might use it one day. Maybe not. I don't know. Then we used OpenAI and we're gonna. this is the first one we're going to dive into. Then we went into OpenAI and we said, you know, basically we prompted it to say, okay, is this a B2B company or is this a B2C company? And you can see all of the outputs is just B2B or B2C. Now, nothing can continue in this table unless it's a B2B company. And so then all of these are doing, this one, this one, and this one, is it's just seeing in the industry, 
Does it mention management consulting, financial services, or staffing and recruiting? And do we have a valid email address? If all of those things are true, and it's a B2B company, and it fits our industry, they get dropped into one of these campaigns. One, two, three. Separate copywriting for all of these things. Then we have the Facebook invite, where if they don't get dropped into one of these campaigns, they are a B2B company, and they have a valid email, and their employee headcount is between 1 and 10, they get dropped into this campaign. Now let's say none of these things are true. The next thing we're going to do is check their website to see if they have any types of CRMs that we can integrate with or that we would like to replace. I have a lot of keywords I put into here, and then we just find the technologies on their site. If we find the technologies on their site that we integrate with or we want to replace, they get dropped into the tech campaign. Then we, our, our fallback is if we can't find anything to say to these people, we don't want to just waste the lead. They are still a marketing leader. They still fit from an industry. They still fit from an employee headcount spot. They still fit from a location spot. Let's just send them the AI campaign, which then we get the AI campaign. There's only errors here because of duplicates. And then we send the AI campaign right here. And yeah, and then I've even got this even all the way down to um, if we if we actually send them an email, see if if campaign sent says success over here, then we're going to add them to a Google sheet so that we can uh, always keep a running sheet of the people that we've already contacted. And if we have to import them into Apollo for some reason, we always have that going. So now the greatest part about this is I'm going to go over what it takes to refill this campaign. I'm going to grab 50 leads from Apollo and show you. All right, so I have my list here. Now, this is exactly why I built this table, because now, after we figured out all of this work, all we have to do is we have to go to Import Data, Import CSV. We're going to grab our CSV right here, and now we're going to hit Add to Current Table, and we're going to be very careful, and we're going to map all of these things correctly. You don't need to watch me map these things, so I'm going to pause. Okay, so I've mapped everything here, and I've mapped all the relevant information that we possibly need for our table to work, and then I don't have to do a single thing. I just added 50 leads to this campaign, and then we're just going to watch the magic happen. We're verifying the emails. Once we get a verified email, it's pushing over, and we're seeing, is this a B2B company? Ah, okay, yes, it is in fact a B2B company. Which campaign should we put it in? Well, it didn't fit any of these campaigns. Oh, look, they're using Zoho. It goes into the tech campaign. Oh, they didn't fit any of these, but we didn't find any technology. It goes into the AI uh, first line written campaign. And as you could see, all I did was just do a little bit of a download from Apollo. Now I could just sit back and relax. All of the work is being done for me through the automation. Uh, and it's just filling in everything quite beautifully. Let's see. Yeah. See, we got a financial services person up here. That's awesome. Lots of tech going on. That's really good. And every time we send an email, we're actually adding it to a spreadsheet so that we can keep track of everything outside of Clay. And then if anyone wants to check out, oh, this is important to, to mention. If for some reason we already have these leads uploaded to our Instantly account, it does not let me deduplicate them. It just says error. And see how it says conflict? That's how, even though we try our best to stop any duplication, that's how we stop duplication right there. Uh, and if anyone wants to check out these lines, uh, basically we're saying, I was on your site and it looks like you sell to Web3 developers. And then if we check out the full description, in the new exciting world of the uh, decentralized internet, otherwise known as Web3, we believe the foundation starts with the digital identity that allows you to safely store and control the data you contribute to and earn online. Might have missed it a little bit there, but the description's a little small. Uh, let's check this one. Looks like you sell to customer care professionals. Yeah, we, we can, yeah. Maybe we need to improve that one. <laughs> I might need to improve this model, but it's still all, a lot of these are, are pretty good. Oops. We can just fix that. 
And so, yeah, now I just actually have to take a note and uh, check the chat GPT prompts. But with that, this is how we have automated six campaigns at once. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, this was built in clay. Uh, I hope you give it a try or reach out to us if you want to have an understanding of how to run campaigns like this for yourself.